What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing really well this night, morning, or afternoon, whatever time it is that you're watching this video, because I'm doing really well. I'm doing amazing. And that's because one of my favorite artists have dropped a brand new EP. But not only that, they dropped a brand new short film to accompany the music. And this short film is on the Dust YouTube channel, which usually does science fiction short films. But it looks like over here, the Deer Hunters lead frontman, Casey Crescenzo. I'm sorry if I'm screwing up the last name and never actually said it out loud. But he wrote and directed this short film. And he brought his team along with him to do all the special effects and all that, but also the Deer Hunters music, which is pretty much like he's the main songwriter, right? So this is his baby. This has me super intrigued because when it comes to the Deer Hunters music, if you don't know them, you know, they write very cinematic, magical kind of music with the axe, right? And I've been patiently waiting for Act 6, the final chapter to the series. But you know what? I can wait for that masterpiece. I, I get it. It takes time to create masterpieces. I get that. But in the meantime, we're getting the Indigo Child, and it has me extremely intrigued. I'm, I already feel like I'm chit-chatting way too much. It's 14 minutes long, so buckle up. I think that's all we need for chit-chat. So let's fucking do it. All right, the Indigo Child. Three, two, one, go. Starting off kind of retro, okay. Still getting that magical vibe from Deer Hunter, that's good. Sati, what's your favorite? I'm not hungry. If you wait too long, it will be burned. I'll run. Don't be foolish, Sati. Eat. I don't want to go, and I'm not hungry. Do you think they care what you want? They don't. Who's they? Only the indigo child hears us. She doesn't listen. She won't do anything. She never has before. Sadvik! This is interesting so far. To her, we bring our anguish. For her, we live. We may be deemed worthy of abandonment for her rescue. All these sounds ve feel very new for the deer hunter. Of darkness for her light. Sati. Have I ever told you about your uncle Boot? He was so strong-willed, courageous, fearless. And then when the time came... Did he fight? He tried. He even tried to convince our family to fight with him. But your grandfather knew better. You know, for all of Boots' courage and fearlessness, he forgot the most important lesson. Which was that this world is a test. A mountain too treacherous to climb on your own without her guidance. And though she guides us, the path is not without obstacle. 
We cannot idolize ourselves, Sati. We must look to her when we are feeling lost. What if she doesn't help? Then we are too early for her return, and we must rejoice in the path she allows us to walk. Sati, you must listen to me. You can never lose sight of her. No matter what you face, no matter what they tell you. She is the only one in this world who can save us. And if you ever turn your back on her, Like he did. What happened to my uncle? It was too fast. In a heartbeat, he was taken away. And our mother. And after that, he turned from the child and we never saw him again. I don't think I've ever been this quiet during a reaction. <laughs> Music swells. It's really like high budget, like CGI, cinematography, lighting, colors. Ooh. So it's time for his cycle. This doesn't even sound like the deer hunter that I know. Shows how much skill Casey has, right? His range is unbelievable. Much more Blade Runner-esque and Hans Zimmer style. What is going on, man? Man, that looks pretty cool. Is that Bender? <laughs> hmm. I don't understand. Two of us. Holiness, XCV, praise his number. 
As our location is mandatory, we will escort said dick to the camps. In exchange for the voluntary lighting of your beacon, as well as your continued compliance, Central Treasury has awarded you with 50 Solera. Additionally, should you be interested in retrieving your son on the morning of his 20th cycle, this ticket is required for retrieval. If your son is deep worthy of God, or your ticket is misplaced, your son's eligibility for redemption is forfeit and thus retired to service. Music swelling again. Prologue, so... I'm confused, does the actual story begin now? Sounds more like the deer hunter. The Indigo Child. Yeah. 
coming soon. Okay, so that was like a prologue, I guess. Subscribe to Dust for new sci-fi every week. Okay. All right, so that was a little bit out of my wheelhouse because I don't typically react to videos. I usually react to songs and then, um, you know, when I'm reacting to storytelling, like I'm not going to be talking over it because that's annoying. <laughs> so my reaction was super quiet. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, just watching this alongside with me. Uh, that being said, let's go through the pros and cons. Number one pro is just since it's a video and like visually it's a, you know, a storytelling, I'm going to be talking about the visuals a lot and visually very striking. The colors were awesome. Um, the shots used and the CGI and lots of lens flare effect and stuff and very bright and vibrant and purple and blue and green and all that sci-fi stuff. But it was like really well done. The production on this was great. Um, considering that everything else that I kind of like check out on this channel is a lot less as polished as this because this was definitely like more short film style like this seems like something that you could see on Netflix right uh so super cool um another pro just like the acting I thought the acting was good and just um also the lore was interesting it was confusing because the way that he wrote the short film and he's leaving a lot of mystery you know you don't know what is being explained to you at the beginning it's not like that whereas that has exposition like right from the beginning i think with more chapters we're going to understand more obviously so you know there's obviously a lot of lore and you know the when the guard said so something about darkness like you know they have like it sounds like they have like a certain like uh prayer that they say right so yeah i think it's just really cool um another pro is just like the music was actually pretty interesting like i thought the music was nice and like um i've always thought deer hunter was just excellent for actually writing like good scores right like their music and the acts is so cinematic it's like you're watching you're like listening to a movie or something and it when you're listening to the acts from start to finish it it's something special man the musicianship is absolutely amazing the variety the range and everything and it continues to impress me the range here so much different than the acts right and i expect nothing less from the deer hunter because uh, Casey and the rest of the band just has so much talent to write different styles of music. You, you know, in the acts we get like almost like it started off kind of like post hardcore, but then, you know, they throw in some jazz and prog rock and indie rock and stuff and folk and like, it's very different. And also like some, um, classical kind of music because it's very cinematic there's like orchestras as well and so with this it's a lot more synth heavy and a lot more keys and stuff and a lot more other samples sounds being used like even the drums like drums are just all about that loud toms with the really loud echo and reverb but like very cinematic very movie like but you know from transitioning from one scene to another the music swells and the keys and stuff add a lot um the end of the song was definitely like okay this sounds the most deer hunter ish and then that's when it kind of stopped i'm like damn but i get it i get it for the context of the movie why they just played the certain um music like that right but guys that's my thoughts on the indigo child uh the short film from dust i'm curious to know what your thoughts are so comment down below spice up my life what do you guys think of this short film did you enjoy it nice change of pace for the channel so i love to know what your thoughts are but if you got to this point in the video and clicked off yet then i appreciate the shit out of you man feel free to hit that subscribe button feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video but on that thank you for tuning in till next time peace